boys and girls. Welcome back to Mrs. Maz's Reading Corner. Last time I read you The Day the Crayons Quit, and today I have the sequel, The Day the Crayons Came Home. This is written by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffries, and published by Philomel Books, an imprint of the Penguin Group. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. It says, hello from the rug. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had it not been for Paperclip, who nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, Maroon Crayon. There's Paperclip is holding him together, and here's Dad about to sit on him on the couch, and he's saying, No! Duncan. No one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as Pea Green. This little boy doesn't want to eat his peas. Has that ever been you? Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. And see how their postcard keeps changing which color it's written in because they're melted together. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna? I don't know, I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan is not pretty, not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna, crayon. He's a mess. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. He's so tiny, he can't reach the doorknob. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow-in-the-dark crayon. Dear Duncan, 
Looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Hmm, I don't think he's in New Jersey. Do you know where the Great Pyramids are? If you said Egypt, you're right. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbird there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those silly crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, gold crayon. Look, it got stuck in the pencil sharpener. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. <laughs> Got his little knapsack and he saw the world. Meh, it's rainy, never mind. <laughs> Not quite the adventurer that he thought. Hi Duncan, you're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is, he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, big chunky toddler crayon. <laughs> Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest, making great time. I think I'm almost home, neon red crayon. Can you ski in the Amazon rainforest? Hmm. I don't think he knows where he is. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies, lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you use to me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. His drawing says, Bear Goes in the Woods. He drew this little squiggle. Hmm. Well, Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years, so he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkey either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party, says invisible white friend. But it's not really blue, more lilac. Make sure it's straight. Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted.
looks good, lads. I think that door is for us. Ah, uh, there you are. I could use a haircut. No. Oh, wait. Hope there's a better... I hope there's not a metal detector. No, I think everyone is welcome. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. <laughs> All the crayons. I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you next time in the Reading Corner.